the show for y'all. Got a damn good show. I've made my um damn good show. I've made my um my feelings known about female police officers. Yeah, I don't think they make the cut. They're dangerous. They're a detriment. What we're trying to say is, even though females mean well, I think they're a detriment to the public. <laughs> Like if I was uh, ninety pounds and I was, uh, and I was, you know, an average weaker than an average man, I wouldn't put myself in that position because you putting yourself in a position you can't win. You yeah. might overreact, power blow somebody away, and you don't have to. And yeah, so it's just it's it's, it's got to be tough being a female police officer. Yeah, why so, would you want to? First do that? of all, that's a man's job, and most men don't want to do it. Just like it's a man's job in construction, bricklayer. That's a man's job. Yeah, that's true. Like. Men can do women jobs. I see men in the salon doing women stuff all the time. <laughs> see, but men are universal when it comes to that. <laughs> women, y'all got to stay in y'all's lane. <laughs> you st- <laughs> you no, see. but I'm gonna show you this video. I rather have. A- I mean, there's some females that could be cops. They yeah, they have the uh, the acumen and the qualifications yeah. for. I'm it, not saying there's no women out there, but you know, just I've seen a lot of female cops. Like when I get pulled by a female cop, I'm scared. I'm literally shaking. <laughs> I'm like, what is this bitch going to do? <laughs> hey, I'm going to show y'all this video. Yeah. And, um, yeah, y'all check it out, man. Two female cops. I think one's white and one's Latina. It doesn't matter that race. It doesn't I'm matter. Just, so it's, yeah. Two female cops is a bad combination. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Here. Sound cute, don't you? Mm-hmm. Sound real good. Just went off. Got the gun. What in these hands? Shots uh, fired. Shots fired. What is she? Hold on. She's still shooting. Go down. Why are you shooting and then running? <laughs> Shoot and run. <laughs> going on um you know what's crazy about this whole video like the one cop the female cop runs out of bullets she's not in fear for her life because she stays right there where she's shooting at and reloads yeah she never, right yeah. if you're like in fear for your life why are you reloading right there yeah just standing there like you on a range or something i would seek cover <laughs> i would seek cover uh, yeah and and then re- I, uh, I, I found my target you right there man i ran out of bullets <laughs> I mean, obviously, you felt your life was in danger. You stayed right there, and you returned fire. I understand yeah, that. Yeah. But once you run out of bullets, you take the magazine out, and you reload right there, yeah. and for some reason, you no longer in danger? Shouldn't you, like, run down the steps and, like, take cover and reload? Man, female cops scared the heebie-jeebies out of me. Well, it turns out... Shut up. Time to pay the bills. Hey, this video has been bought to you by Uphold Exchange, where you can buy a range of cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin. Ethereum, over 250. But the best part about Uphold, you can buy precious metals like gold, silver, palladium, platinum with zero custody costs and have instant liquidity in over 27 national currencies. Yeah. Uphold is making gold and Bitcoin great again. Sign up. Hit the link in the description. Let's get back to the dam. Okay, so what happened, the reason why the cops were even there, um, you know what? I'm going to go to the news. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they Check explain out. it better than you. Yeah, they, they got it. It's all professional. Yeah, it's professional. Yeah, go down. <laughs> I like. I want to hear. I want to see. <laughs> she ain't playing. Apartment when Harris County Sheriff's deputies mistook her Started for a burglar. Okay. We're all- and that a is woman a man's shot nightmare. multiple times in her own apartment. When Harris County Sheriff's deputies mistook her for a burglar, <laughs> we're also hearing tonight from that woman's girlfriend. ABC 13's Luke Jones oh, is lying outside the sheriff's office with the latest I don't tonight. Know, Luke? Yeah, woman's girlfriend. Lesbians. And the sheriff's office released that video today while both of those deputies dude. remain on leave pending the outcome of an internal investigation. For the first time, we're seeing what they saw when they walked up to that woman's apartment and what they did when they say they saw a gun. 
too. You hear woman screaming? Unleashing a barrage of bullets February 3rd. Look at all the bullets. Behind the Wood Forest apartment, a downstairs neighbor had called about a possible break-in. <laughs> no, Wait a minute. hearing glass breaking. It turns out it was Ebony Pouncey and her girlfriend smashing their own window after forgetting their keys. When deputies arrive, Sheriff's office! They knock at the door and identify themselves. No one answers, but a short time later, they say they see Pouncey coming to the door with a gun in her hand. And both deputies open fire. What are they aiming at? <laughs> Pouncey's girlfriend gave her account at a news conference yesterday. When they started banging yeah, on the door, I, w I was like, what's loud. that? What's that noise? Ebony grabbed um, her gun and ran to the door. After the shooting, you see that woman's exchange with deputies as they order her downstairs. I live here. Please don't shoot. You later see paramedics wow. helping the injured woman. She's now retained famed civil rights attorney Ben Crump to explore legal options. She got shot in the leg, got I shot in the stand this dude. many places. She's thankful to God that she was not killed. Luke Jones, ABC 13, Eyewitness News. So, so Why does it, this dude hold a monopoly on every time something bad happens to a black person, he's got to be the attorney? Why is that? Well, black people, that's, that's uh, whatever. I think, personally, I heard this dude speak. At a, at, he was giving some um, opinions. I said, man, this dude is not too bright. If y'all had any brains, y'all would go get you a white attorney from an Ivy League school. That's they, where you're getting your money. That's where you're going to get your money. Stay nigga away go, from these HBCU graduates. <laughs> these niggas going to get you shortchanged. <laughs> I, I can tell this Negro's fee is twice as, twice as high as the white man's. Nah, but, I'm just joking. He, he might be a good attorney. So it turns out they didn't have the key to get in, so they broke the window in, to get in the house. Normal and a neighbor, can I, can, can I do some talking? I'm just saying. It's like I can't even say nothing. Can I say something? No, you just got done talking. Why can't I talk? Who talk? I say three words, there you running your fucking mouth again. <laughs> but go ahead. Take your time. All right, so they had to break into their own house because they didn't have the key, right? Hey, kid, can I say something? <laughs> <laughs> Normal people will call a locksmith. Black people, ah, oh, screw it. Pow, just break the wall. <laughs> well, uncivilized. No, people do that all the time. It doesn't Chief, matter if you're black. I've locked my keys in the, in the car. I've locked my keys in the house. And I've been broke. I've never picked up a brick and broke the window. <laughs> well, some people do that. They don't have the money, Kim. I didn't have the money. <clears throat> That's crazy. So let, let me say something. Breaking a window. It's like, okay... This is in Texas. You asking for it. You have, I mean, there's a lot of people in Texas have guns. <laughs> yeah. It's just like, I think what happened is some idiot cop showed up and an idiot, uh, the idiot person who broke into the house. She comes running to the door with a gun in her hand. Mm -hmm. I mean, just look out the keyhole, see who's out there. You'll see it's police. Why are you, I don't, you know, I don't know who to trust. The cops said they seen somebody run up with a gun. Uh -huh. I never see that in the, uh, in the video. I, yeah. I can't see that. I don't see it from the body cam, no. And just because they have a gun in their hand doesn't, I mean. They, they are in the, inside the house. But I understand why you, uh, I would have said put the gun down if, at least. I would have <laughs> gave them an opportunity to put the gun down <laughs> because they are inside the house. I understand you're investigating a burglary in progress, but you before you shoot somebody, you have to identify that the person in the house is a burglar. Well, they're inside illegally. Well, they, they're Y'all actually there. shot at the person who lives there. Well, this is in, uh, I think this is in Houston, Texas. Yeah. There's a lot of crime in Houston. Oh, yeah. So yeah. cops are on edge to begin with. Yeah. And on top of that, there's two women cops. Like, personally, um, what well, is shot through the window. <laughs> and and you okay, you're in free of your life, right? So you're shooting through the window. But what 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 is speak volumes to me is when you run out of bullets and it takes you five seconds to reload and you don't move to cover. Yeah. I mean, that that shot, that angle from the damn news exit, both y'all shooting, man, that look like that. <laughs> them bullets, them shells going everywhere. You know what's crazy? You you identify the person as a weapon, but you didn't tell the person, give that person opportunity to put that gun down before you start shooting. They are, the woman is entitled to 
exercise her constitutional So, obviously... Right? She's inside her house. Y'all never gave her an opportunity to put the gun down. Yeah, so, obviously, um, I would think the homeowner never heard you identify yourself. Yeah. Just because you said once, you got to repeat, because you got to understand that people are just... You got to assume from what other people... Are you got to keep repeating too. it over and over. Police department, police department, open up. Yeah. You did it one time. Yeah. You would think that's enough for, like... Yeah, most people, but there's a lot of stupid people out there. Yeah. There's stupid people that will run to the door with a gun. Yeah, and not even look out the damn pee hole. Uh, what I say, the the pee hole, <laughs> the peep hole, the peep hole. You said pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> Don't even look out the damn peep hole. <laughs> you said the pee hole. <laughs> <laughs> you been pissing out the door. <laughs> hey, keep it. Some stupid people out there. They will lock their keys in the house and break the window with a rock. You know what? You know what this boils down to. You got a bunch of stupid people that met at the exe- at the wrong time. You had two female overzealous cops who overreacted, shot a person who's inside her home, exercising a constitutional right. You didn't give an opportunity to drop a gun. Or I didn't even hear one command. Please drop the weapon. Yeah, hey, can I? You know what? Let's look at the first video again. I want to count how many rounds went off. I don't even know, know if I can count that fast. Did you hear that once oh, girl scream? On oh, the second video? She's like, ah! She's like, ah! <laughs> well, I think that was the resident inside the apartment. No, that was the female. I think it was the, the blonde cop. It was? She screamed. Oh, God. <laughs> That's what I expect from a female. Oh, God. <laughs> well, let's look at the second one. Can you go to the part where no, they just. Yeah. Yeah. It was I, the first one, though, I thought. Well, the first video. Go to the first video again. Yeah, You'll just see. go to the first video again. Hey, can, get, get your arm off of them. They overreacted. Sheriff's office. Here, I mean, you gotta keep saying it, though. You gotta keep saying it. You gotta make. Watch this. I can't cut the fast, you know but what? I'm thinking that's about 40 damn rounds. That's crazy. I don't know what they're shooting at. They don't know what they're shooting at. <laughs> but I understand why the person inside, the, the female, I understand now why she came to the door with the gun. That damn car alarm went off. She probably thought she was somebody's, somebody's going to break in the house. That's a good point. So she overreacted, the woman inside, and the two female cops overreacted. Yeah, you know. But I'll, the cops are dead wrong in this situation. Yeah, um, yeah in my Humble opinion, but yeah. I would say these cops are so incompetent. You shoot forty rounds, and the person you're shooting at is not dead. Yeah, and they're shooting into an apartment complex. Those rounds could go through walls and, and contact other people. That's why I'm telling you, when I get pulled over by the police, I see a female cop. I'm in that car shaking. I got my hands out the window. I already got my insurance registration. I'm right there shaking. Cause I know you scared. She gonna cover the car. Oh man! <laughs> boom, 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 boom! Yeah, women yeah. overreact, man. Well, men overreact. It's just like I think it's more prevalent when it's coming to when comes to women. Female. Yeah, just. I mean, how many times? I mean, there's seen... a reason. There's hey, let me say this. Hey, there's talking... a there's a reason. Like in a war, who's on the front lines? Do you see women? Nope. You never see women. Why? Cause everybody know y'all ain't y'all can't do nothing. Look at that. Scream and cry and. Yeah. Hey, keep can I? Let me do some talking. I mean, y'all look good, no. Don't get me wrong. I can, I can, hey, I like hey, that. Hey, I'm talking over here. Hey, let me say something. Shut up. Every time some shit go down and there's a woman around, what's the first thing they do? They start screaming. They screaming and they running. <laughs> Every time. I don't care what the situation. When shit hits the fan, that woman is going to start screaming. She's going to start running. She's going to make the situation worse. Like when you're on an airplane, you start hitting turbulence and the plane starts doing a bunch of crazy stuff. First person you're going to hear is the woman and the kids. Screaming. Even this situation, the woman started screaming. Damn, good shit. Hey, ain't got no giveaway going. Yeah. We're giving away a Ford F-250 and 10,000 cash. The end of the win. Go to officialhawkstwins.com. Anything you buy from the site, get you automatically. End of the win. Yeah.